Today we will finish and truly make the make anything machine capable of delivering any shape that we want. We just need to do the logic now. So I think I'm gonna go... Uh, let's go always from left to right and let's go clockwise starting at the top right corner. So here we're analyzing the bottom layer. This is the bottom part, okay? And this is upside down, but this corner is the top right. That's this one, okay? That's right. Here we need to do the bottom right corner. We need to rotate this first. And I need to rotate three times in this case. Okay, you know what? For now I'm gonna do it for this shape so that I can clearly see how I'm rotating it. So in this case, the top right corner, that's right. In this case, we want to rotate the shape. But we have to do it three times because we can't rotate to the left. But this top right corner was originally the bottom right corner. So that's correct. Now we copy this and do it again here. But this time we only need to rotate two times. And copy again to the last part here. This time only rotate it once. So honestly, all four of those say the same exact thing, which is, hello, we need a white star. That's not the point. Shapes are gonna be different. I've also noticed that I'm feeding it the star information, but we want the color information. So I have to cut those and rotate those around. So now we're feeding it the correct color information. There, all are connected, which means that all should be manufacturing white paint. So these painters are being fed and here we have to do the same thing and only take the top right corner and so on. So again, starting from the left side, this analyzed shape needs to be the top right corner. So I'm gonna remove this information and start copying the information from here. Yes, so this first one, that's a simple analyze, but here we're gonna have to have the rotations as well. So here, we first gotta rotate before we can actually analyze. So we've rotated three times, so we're now analyzing the bottom right corner, which also happens to be a white star. This remains still the same, because we want the top right corner to be here. So we cut, we need the right part, we rotate that, take this bit, so we cut again and we want this information rotated to the right and that's it. It's actually lucky that we're merging those together, because now we don't care about the orientation of the original shape. So I think this is it. We've got it all connected and here we have the corners. So as I said earlier, we're gonna try and guess that we won't have empty spaces in the shapes for now. That means that we can use simple stackers to figure all of this out. So here we're gonna have one stacker, then another stacker and another stacker. So these stars go here and these are supposed to be the top right corner as it is. However, these stars are supposed to be the bottom right corner. So we have to rotate those like that. These are then gonna be the bottom left corner. So rotate those twice. And the last ones should be rotated three times. Or, you know, I could have done it better, but it doesn't matter. And this is more visual, so I like it. So let's bring those around and into the stackers right there. That's awesome. Now we are gonna do the same thing here, but I'm gonna take those out of this area and go around like that. And same goes for the last bit here, straight into the stacker. And as they arrive, I believe we should be getting full stars. Why do we have some yellow bits in there? I think that was just some remainders. Yeah, like here. We've got some remainders of the old colors we should be fine now. So eventually it's gonna clear up and we're gonna have just white. And yes, we've got the stars. That's awesome. I'm gonna upgrade a little as well. Let's do the stacking speed. These can be brought to the hub. 
So I'm not gonna do that just now, but eventually we're gonna have to start stacking as well. We're gonna have to look at that in a second. Oh, and I see I forgot to delete this bit, which we also don't want anymore. All right, inputs are deleted and we're getting those stars here. Now I'm going to just copy this whole factory. 40,000, that's the cost. 40,000, really, wow. I'm gonna copy it to there. <laughs> what an investment, achievement, nice. Awesome, I see that we've got this here as well. So we can just move these to there, because that's the universal shape again. That's brilliant. That was just a happy accident. Now I need to reconnect the colors as well. So this here is green and this needs to be... Oh, and the wires. I forgot the wires. So copy all of this, copy. And now 20,000. Wow. How am I gonna paste this? Could anyone explain this to me? Uh, like that? I think this is it, right? Bam! <laughs> Let's check here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Awesome, awesome. All the paint is connected. We're already producing the shapes, but that should be the white stars. But now we need some unstacking here. So let's take a look in the wires. Here we're analyzing the bottom layer. But right now we want to analyze the top layer. So before we actually analyze, we have to unstack. So we have unstacked this shape. Now on top there's the this side and we need to analyze that. And this is our gold color, purple. And we need to do that again for these whilst again rotating uh, the signal. All the circuits have been fixed. We are now unstacking and this should manufacture the top layer of our shape. <laughs> Look at these beauties. Again, gonna take a while before the color mixing returns to normal. But right now we need to stack those together. And there we need some logic as well. And this is gonna be the bottom part. So it's gonna work exactly like we have here. And it's gonna go there. And from here, the top part is gonna go all the way down to the stacker there. Now you notice that I'm not connected here. That's because I need some sort of logic. Let's see whether there actually is a top layer or not. So here I need to take the shape, the gold shape, and I need to unstack it. On the right side we're gonna have the top layer. What if there was no signal? So let me just switch this and delete the last part. So we have just white star, let's say. And sorry, my bad, left side. So in case there's no other layer, we have no signal right there. So let's see what it does to this. No signal. Yes, no signal. How do we figure this out? I want no signal to mean don't stack at all. Well, I'm just gonna connect it for now, as we know that it's supposed to be connected. What I do need to do is reconnect uh, this stacker to there. And as you see, we're getting the gold stars. That's beautiful. So once they arrive, we should progress to the next level straight away. And that's because we only need four of those a second. There's no set amount. We just need to deliver a few a second of those. And I do really wonder what the next level looks like. Because as I said, I'm not sure whether we actually can get some weird shapes or not. There, they are arriving. What do you mean 0.8 a second? Oh, that's because the colors are probably still wrong. Yes, there. We've completed level 27 and now we need this. And that's still gonna work. Let's take a look. This is a very weird shape that we need. And I think that the manufacturing process should have already begun. Now, I want that achievement, so I'm not gonna touch this factory at all. Because the achievement is complete a level without modifying a factory. So let's take a look at the color mixers. We are still getting white here. Oh, that's because we do need white. And here we're getting white as well. What? It's weird, isn't it? 
Oh, I see. So the constant signals haven't updated. Why not? So I'm going to update these manually. And I hope that this doesn't count as changing the factory. I thought that they would update manually, in fact. So I think I'm going to use one constant signal for all of those in the future. So there's just one button I would have to press because now I have to press eight. Okay, that really sucks. I think that's all of those. So let's see what are we making right now. We're just getting green. Let's see the info. Yes, and we should be getting green. The next should be yellow. <laughs> We're getting yellow. It works. It works. I can't believe that. Do you see how satisfying it is? I've actually made this myself. I figured this out on my own and I actually made a functioning artificial intelligence. We just need to tell it, please manufacture this shape and it's gonna do it on its own. Okay, we've got it. Uh, this factory should be making the top shape. So here we should be getting cyan. That's green and blue, yes, that's cyan. Then we should be getting white. Yes, that's white. Then again, cyan here. Yes, white here. That's correct. And we should have windmill star, windmill star. So from the right side, that's a star. Yes, it is. Here it should be windmill. Yes, it is. Then star again. Yes, and a windmill once more. And that's it. I can't believe it. If you take a look here, you've got still the stars. Uh, okay, I've unlocked an achievement. Not sure what it is. Oh, 100 different shapes stored in the hub. Well, whatever. But we should start getting the correct shapes shortly. I can see that they've arrived to here already. We just need to get rid of those stars, finally. The thing is that there are many conveyor belts right here. So it takes a time before it unclocks, sort of. Not unclocks, but before the original shapes that we no longer need and no longer are manufacturing stop being manufactured. We are really close, I can see that. These are correct. These are also correct. And these are as well. So, yes, we're starting to get the right shapes. Let's follow them. There are right shapes between those and we already should have the right shapes in the bottom part right there, there. And yes, 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 those are the correct shapes already. Let's zoom in and those are all... Oh, this here, you see, that's the correct shape. These are correct, these are correct. I can't believe it, I've actually done it. So any second now, we should be getting a few of those a second. Not many, since we need this to clear up, but then it should be it. Yes, we've done it. We've literally made a make anything machine. We've just got the achievement for that. And this shape, we're also going to be able to manufacture it without modifying the factory. I don't care. I want to modify the factory a little because I want one simple switch. And I think I'm going to place it somewhere here. Yes. Nope. Uh, let's see. So here I'm going to have the major switch, which is going to say we want the goal shape. And I now just need to feed this goal signal to every bit here. Oh, and you know what? I'm going to use the other wire so that I'm not clashing with anything. There goes one, there goes the second one. Another achievement for many wires used. That's awesome. Do I need the information anywhere else? I don't think so. Right here we're just fine. And now I just need to put the info to these guys. There, that's nice. So this whole thing is now controlled by this constant signal which says make the current shape that we want. And I want these wires to go up there as well. All right, the wires are connected. So now we have a single huge wire going all the way around and telling each of the facilities what it's supposed to be doing. Which means that when we reach the next level, all I have to do is click this and say do something else. And you know what's also brilliant? 
I could just tell it to manufacture the uh, blueprint shape. <laughs> and that would be really funny. And we've already started manufacturing these. Again, gonna take a little while before it clears up, but here we have the correct shapes already. Just the top part has been lacking because it took me some time to unplug that. Anyways, I think the next part would be the additional logic, but for now that's not necessary as we've only got uh, those shapes with two layers and nothing else. No fewer and no more. Just two layers of full shapes with different colors. I hope you enjoyed. This has been my make anything machine. All of this product of a software engineer's mind. I hope to see you again next time with some more automation.